everybody. How you doing? I'm good. Pretty good. I went to sleep super early. It's like, uh, what time is it? Almost five o'clock in the morning. No, four o'clock. It's almost four. <laughs> anyway, I pulled out some of my old uh, metallics from our Arteza. <laughs> And uh, it's a 36 box. You get lots of beautiful pearls. Everything's mica in here. Uh, just lots of them. And I've used quite a bit. So that's how they come. And they're just the best paints. I think I just love their metallics. <laughs> Over a lot of metallics. Especially that mica powder lately. So I was like, hey, I'm going to use some metallic acrylics. I haven't done that for a long time. And I haven't done a uh, reverse dip in a long time. So I went ahead and made up a whole bunch of this. And then I filled up my bottles. Some of these bottles that I got from BB Crafts. Which I'm going to be doing another one soon. And I'm making skins. Anyway, I'm going to use the pearl lilac. I'm using a lot of colors. I don't know if that's a good idea because I haven't really... You don't want to use too much on your canvas. But I'll, I'll try not to put too big of dots. I'm going to do my basic reverse dip. Pearl white. Uh, pearl magenta. Pearl Rose, Pearl Royal Purple, and this Rose Quartz is just beautiful, oh my gosh, and the Pearl Sky Blue. It's going to be very, hopefully very subtle. And then I am using one of the Arteza 10 by 10 canvases. Here I go. I'm going to do a reverse dip, my basic. The only thing different is I'm using a mixture of Artist Loft White Flow. And then about, well, I started with this much, really in purple, Artist Loft. So it's not all Arteza, but, and then the rest I did white. And then I ran out of my Artist White Flow and it still wasn't light enough. So I added a little titanium white of Arteza to get me a full nice jug of it to use for my bases and stuff. So I thought I'd just mention this. <laughs> I forget stuff. Well, because it's important. So that's pretty lilac-y. But you know what? That's okay. Uh, I don't like a whole lot of paint on here. Meaning I don't want it real thick. But you also don't want the paint to be too thin. So, and now for the flowers, the dots I do, I don't, I'm not real picky about that. But I have my paint just a little bit thicker this time because I don't want it just selled up like crazy. I, I, I'm sure it's going to sell up some. Kind of hope not. But that's why I made it a little bit thicker. Okay, so I want to make sure it's not real thick full of paint. But it's pretty good thick paint. I mean, it's not real thick. It's to where there's a mountain. Okay. Just thought I'd mention that. So this paint is a little mountain. Doesn't disappear right away. This is sort of the same, but a little thicker. Okie dokie.
It's a good thing I have that muted. <laughs> Cause yeah, I dropped it. So this might be, see how much paint it picked up from that spot? More bare, but I can lay some down there. <laughs> it's not the nice didn't come out of my mouth there. It feels good. It feels not too thick. Oh, that's so pretty. It's so subtle. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. I like it. Oh, I love this here and here. I may not have to touch up too much paint there. So that's kind of how I pictured it. With being very soft. And I'm glad that they're not. So there's some areas, let me show you real quick, because I wasn't real good with my plastic. Right there and there. Oh, look at that shimmer. Oh my gosh, it's pretty. All right, so I'm gonna touch these up real quick, and then I will give this a torch right now. I'm very happy with this one. It's so pretty. There's a bubble right there. Okay, and we'll just kind of draw that in in the middle a little. That's it. And I'm gonna touch that up and just kind of let it flow a little bit because that's what it's gonna do. Focus first. <laughs> That's just gorgeous. Love that down there. I love those ends. So, I did get some cells, but not like I usually do, so that worked. Anyway, these bottles are not good for this. They're hard. And it's hard to squeeze them. So I'm kind of bummed over that, <laughs> but I'll use them. But yeah, that's, I had to squeeze hard and that's why I ended up resorting to going like this because my fingers were actually hurting. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. But I mean, they do come out nicely, but they're just a little too hard. I need soft ones. Anyway, this is gorgeous. I'm just thrilled with it makes a good morning for me that's for sure oh isn't that pretty just gorgeous very delicate light perfect for a pretty bathroom or something 
little nook in your living room or something pretty. Well, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I enjoyed doing it, that's for sure. I haven't done one for a while. And this is so soft, just the way I wanted it. Beautiful. Very, very happy with this. Oh, my goodness. Just gorgeous. Alrighty, then I'm going to put this away. And I hope you guys have yourself a good week, okay? I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.